All right. Hello and welcome back to more Victoria 2. Well, when last I left you, there was a crisis brewing. And not much happening with it. So, let's take a look at some of these great powers. Yeah, I could probably sway the, uh... Just get them to peace out and get me some free prestige. By siding with Germany. So I'll do that. Though that might make the Workers' Commonwealth change their mind. Either way. You know, if I have to fight a bit of a war, that's fine. So you're gonna get some ironclads. I'm probably not gonna be able to get a great fleet at any point during this playthrough. I'm just too far behind on tech. So I'll get some stuff that's a little bit out of date. But we'll, you know, fluff up my military score a bit. So, if I fight this, it's likely that I'm going to be mainly fighting the Soviet Union. You're in my sphere, will you give me access? Yeah. That'll be great. So what I can do is just sit over here and here. I'll we'll split you up and go here and here. I'll we'll send you up. And you guys. Man, a whole bunch of infantry without any support. That's gonna be a problem. And some units that are, uh, otherwise poorly built. The thing is, when you get, once I get so big, I just get really bad at the micromanagement. It just gets to be such a pain. Alright, just give me some prestige, just... Be like, okay, we're not going to win this crisis, and I accept defeat. How nice would that be? But if it doesn't happen, I'll kick some ass. Oh my, there's something happening. Oh, the Ottomans have some rebels. Crisis offer accepted. Cool, cool, cool. Push a button. Yay! Do you need the help? Eh, you might. How about I sit a few guys over in Istanbul? France wants an alliance. I mean, I'm likely to betray. I have a bunch of alliances, so I might lose some prestige when I don't honor one of them. But I like to have some entanglement, possible entanglements to get me, you know, into great wars. Let's see. The USA and Germany are the only ones that have me beat for military power, it looks like. Yeah, and they're going to stay that way. More likely than not. There's going to be quite a lot for me to match. Hmm, let's get some more units. Uh, poor Soviet Union. Russia in this game is just... Dealing with rebels is quite the pain. When you have such a massive country. Alright. 
Anyone else I should be influencing? I can stop influencing you. You're pretty safe in my sphere. I don't think anyone's gonna be able to beat me there. How about I influence you a bit? Make Arab India, you know, a little bit more influential. Oh, I'm discredited, whatever. Any possible great wars? There could be a crisis here again. Man, that's quite the liberation movement. I'd love for there to be a crisis in Spain. I would totally go against them. Oh, well, that's a part of... Catalonia is a part of France right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could work, too. I'm not too fussed about who I fight for some extra land. Oh, yeah, I'm all full on clerks here. Um, let's find somewhere that I can give clerks that isn't completely full on workers. Oh, those aren't the ones I needed to swap out. Here, you have some clerks. Get your factories to be more efficient. Do, do, do. I love the music. In this game. I'd really like to get a nice little war that involves Spain somehow. Anyone that I would want to release just for some infamy reduction in case that great war happens. Yeah, sure. Where are they all? Stuff I don't really want. I'd only lose one province if I release them. Is that? I'd only lose this. 100,000 people with sheep? 150, I mean. Not a terrible idea. Uh, do I not have access? Here, I'll, I'll deal with your rebel problem. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you know, I think... I'll release you. Now, one thing I could do, um, that I'm not really going to, is I could release any of the Arab states, um, and if you're a cultural union, like Arabia, uh, and you have someone in your sphere who is in that cultural union, they will eventually petition to join you. And uh, so if you're playing as, you know, Germany, or as Italy, or as Arabia, as I said, you can kind of cheat the infamy system that way, but I really don't feel like doing that for this video. Uh, heavy armament. Any crisis likely to fire? Yes. It'll fire already. Here you take your standard, uh, 
Well, the Soviet Union is no longer a great power, and Italy is instead. And now I can get another proper state. Take your complimentary liquor distillery. There we go. Alright, I wish I could do something to help these crises fire faster. I would totally help liberate the shit out of Albania, you know, for the right, uh... Position, even though the Ottomans are in my sphere. I mean, Muhammad Ali, the uh, leader who modernized Egypt historically and in game, presumably, because there is the Muhammad Ali's reforms decision, was from Albania, I believe. And. So, you know, it'd be a nice little gesture to liberate it or to support the Ottomans honestly if it gets me a great war I don't care in the meantime ooh, another colony wants to be a state there you go And someone wants to be influenced. There you go. Look at all those warm colors that represent possible flashpoints. I would love for those to fire. That would just be fantastic news for me. Here, join up with the one that's mostly just infantry. Who can I influence now? Baroda? Yeah. Add to Sphere. Just slowly sphering all these Indian states, because why not? Are there any unsivs left that are worth anything anywhere? Bukhar is still not civilized. Maybe I should have annexed them last time. I mean, half a million people, not terrible. Would have been a lot of infamy, though. So it's probably for the best that I didn't. Chinese Empire declares war on Soviet Union. Huh, I wish I could have gotten involved with this. You know, maybe on the side of China. That would be a great war. Well, now there's... Now these uh, crises are much less likely to go anywhere. I mean, with the great powers at war. But we'll see. So, I mean, they're likely to, a lot of them might tick down. And then even if they don't, they won't, they'll have a harder time finding backers. It's just, you know, bad news bears. I'm a little tempted to just justify a choir state against Spain, but, you know, if I get away with it early, then great. Problem is, if it, I mean, if I get away with it, you know, and I'm not detected early, great. But if I get caught too early, then I've used up a whole lot of infamy. When maybe there's a way I can do it, uh, cheaper, you know, get a great war going somehow. 
But I better do something soon. I don't have all that long left. Any rebel issues very that are likely? Narco liberals, maybe. Jacobins, fairly likely. I mean, over time, almost certain to eventually happen. I would be happy to pass a reform to, you know, make them feel better if. If I could, if my upper house would allow me. Here, I don't need to maintain my troops so much, so I can cut taxes. Maybe that will, uh, you know, make people feel a little bit better. Austria-Hungary, no longer a great power. Instead, Japan is. If the Soviet Union becomes a great power, then this will become a great war. Well, that's a rather large stack up there, France. Beroda has got some rebels. But, looks like they can take care of it. Ooh, crisis! Fairly likely that it won't actually get to fire because of the damn, uh... Some of the great powers being at war. Oh, Germany wants to back Romania. That means, if I want to get involved... As a backer... I'll need to fight Germany. Which, they're, they're kind of my ally, and have more military uh, score than I do. And are much closer to the contested area. Hmm. Well, I bet France might join me. If they're, they're at war, though. What great powers would actually get involved? So they would probably join Germany. They... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's the crisis I want. It probably won't become a great war. So sadly, so sadly, I'm going to have to decline. Oh. Well, maybe it would have been a great war, but... Let's just see what happens. I might just jump in at some point for the prestige. Thankfully, I'm not in Europe, so I have the option to just, you know, say none of my business. Yeah, you know, I think... Let's get some prestige. That'll be fine. Can I build more s troops?
Because I wanted to get some Hussars. I've kept holding out because I've been hoping for military aviation to unlock, but... Okay, let's just speed things up. Ottomans still have rebels. Georgian nationalists, huh? Nah, but they're doomed. Ottomans are just going to kill them. Oh, come on. You can't think you're actually going to get anything out of this crisis, UK. I mean, you're pretty screwed, right? I still think it might end up just being worth justifying directly on Spain. And if I declared on them, they would call in Austria-Hungary, who might not join and is only a secondary power now anyway, and would hopefully bring in the Soviet Union, who is also only a secondary power. I just need to find some way to get some sort of great war going. Uh, just babysitting my spherelings, rebel problems. It's always an issue. Let's go ahead and spend on my troops for a little bit. Uh, it doesn't actually matter, though. Earlier, it looks like uh, lowering my tariffs did help with militancy a little bit. Or not tariffs, but my uh, taxes on various people. I've got a shit ton of money, so I can just kind of weather it for a bit. Yeah, that'll be good. And white peace in the crisis. So some free prestige for me. Not gonna complain. Another crisis might actually happen, but it looks like it's fairly unlikely right this moment. Alright, well. Yay, a new core. Do I have anywhere that's maybe possible to become a state? Yeah. Like these guys have uh one of these states had masonry as yeah, Zambia has some, uh, accepted pop, so let's see if I can get your, uh, administration up enough. Make you into a full-fledged state. In fact, let's just look through some of these other... Colonies. Uh, none of these ones in India, I don't think.
But you know, some of the guys out in Africa, maybe. Some of the places I've held a while. Yeah, he's got a lot of these. Oh, big communist uprising. Oh my. That's a lot of communists. I think, actually. Yeah, I don't wanna, you know, I think, uh... I'm going to cut the episode here. And when I come back in the next video, I'll deal with this big pain in the ass uprising. So thank you for watching and have a good day.